Persons with disabilities have called on stakeholders in the arts and creative industry to ensure inclusiveness through the full implementation of the Disabilities Rights Act. The call was made at a focus group interaction in Abuja where positive resolutions were reached on how to better the lots of gifted and talented PWDs across the country. Plus TV Manuel Ehijene completes the report. There is no gain saying that the loads of persons with disabilities and the country is still at its lowest ebb, despite the hues and cries for inclusiveness. To this end, the Porter's Gallery, a creative and artistry organization with support from UNESCO, have decided to draw attention to the abundant creative and artistic talents amongst the highly marginalized PWDs. According to the creative director, Donald Onanka, the aim of the interaction is to galvanize support and create an enabling environment for PWDs to exhibit their potentials and strive in the art and creative industry. On all the leaders of the creative industry hmm, to ensure that there is a policy of inclusion, a deliberate policy to include persons with disabilities in the creative industry. We already have an act, but we need to do more to ensure that stakeholders in the creative industry understand that there is a law that makes participation of persons with disability compulsory. So they are compelled. While calling for the full implementation of the Disability Rights Act, Unanka also called for policies and programs for the integration and market opportunities for members. Persons with disabilities are totally marginalized from the creative industry. There are big names of persons with disabilities in the creative industry. Persons like Cobham's, Yinka Yefele are big names. In fact, Cobham has one of the best uh, studios in West Africa, and it's a person with, person with disability. So what, what we are trying to do in this project is to make sure we produce more of the Cobham's and more of the Yinka Yefele's of this world. Some of the participating artists and creative PWDs at the event decry the stigmatization often faced by members. So disability has its own peculiar challenges. As such, there must be a peculiar way of addressing it. So what I mean is that at any time, if we want to create the space, that's the creative industry for persons with disability, then we have to be intentional. What and what? Well, let's study first. What are the issues? One. The issue is, do they have the capacity to uh, like, uh, compete equally with other people who are not persons with disability? No. So first, we have to build the capacity. Two, do, can we have a specific disability uh, only or the, uh, disability stand alone program? You understand? That will speak to the uniqueness of disability and also how, if you include this in your work, it can go. After doing all the work they have, there is no market for them to go display their work and sell because um, the community see persons with disabilities are not fit. People that um, are not even creative and people that don't have a business with the market, a competitive market. So even when you see a lot of persons with disabilities doing amazing work, let's say for instance painting, those in the cake industry, those in the clothes making industry, they do this work but getting access, getting market space to display and sell their goods is difficult. Over 50 persons with disabilities in Abuja comprising males and females from different creative and artistic background participated in the forum. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.